Hello, welcome to Subao Pop. And thank you for watching our show today. Please remember to like and subscribe. Okay, so today we're jumping into the Fermi paradox. This is that uh, huge mind-bending contradiction where, you know, you look at the math and you look at the sheer age and size of the universe, and you just have to ask, where is everybody? Yeah, the silence that is so loud, right? Because statistically, we should not be the only ones here. Not by a long shot. Exactly. So if the universe is teeming with potential for life, why haven't we heard a peep? And that brings us to this concept that uh, honestly keeps some of us up at night. The Great Filter. The Great Filter. It sounds ominous. It is. It really is. It's this idea that there is some kind of, of hurdle, some barrier in the evolution of life that is just incredibly hard to get past. Like a cosmic choke point. Yes, a choke point. And the scary part isn't just that it exists. It's that we haven't found it yet. Right? Like, is it behind us or is it ahead of us? Exactly. That's the dilemma. Because if it's behind us, that's great news. It means we've already done the impossible. We survived the hard part. We made it through the filter where maybe almost everyone else failed. So we're the lucky ones. The lottery winners of the universe. Right. But if the filter is ahead of us, then, uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh is right. Because that implies that civilizations rise, they get smart, they build technology, and then something happens. Climate change, nuclear war, out of control AI, or maybe some natural limit to technology we can't perceive yet. It would mean that most civilizations reach our level and then destroy themselves. Something wipes them out before they can spread to the stars. So finding life on Mars, simple life, like bacteria, that might actually be disastrous news in this context. Paradoxically, yes, devastating news. Because if life is easy to start and we find it right next door, it would mean the filter isn't at the beginning. It means the hard part is still waiting for us. Yeah, so the silence, the empty sky, that might actually be the best thing we could see. It might be the only thing guaranteeing our future. Precisely. The silence suggests we might be special. The noise, well, the noise might just be the echo of dead civilizations. If we're the rare survivors, then the galaxy might be empty, but at least we're safe. For now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.